Hey Switchers, welcome back and welcome to my kind of Football Cup 2021 review. My name's Kanan and let's see if it's going to hit a all-time high or an all-time low or somewhere in the middle. Why not join the Discord where we're doing loads of activities with the community and it's all good fun. Now let's do up those shoelaces of those football boots and uh, get out on the pitch. Gameplay. Okay, I have to admit here, I am not really a football fan. Or soccer, as you call it in the United States. Love it. Now, full disclosure, I found this game rather overwhelming. I'm not really a football fan. And I kind of like thought I wanted to review this because I thought if they can turn someone like me to enjoy a game like this, then maybe, you know, obviously it's going to be a winner. But to be honest with you, it confused the hell out of me. There are plenty of things in this game to, you know, get your head around and plenty to actually do. So first up, there are achievements. And I'm not going to put all this video in any particular order because it will look a mess. So I'm just going to put all the different things up on the screen as I go along and just talk in general. Okay? good so the achievements are unlocked as you actually play the game you can do quick matches you have a trophy room team management where you can pick the team that you want and change names and all and there's even sort of like a, a progression system that goes up as you go along the career is basically you can go in you can go on to the take control which means that you learn how to play the game it's actually not that bad Daily challenges, which does what you think, it gives you daily challenges. The Europa, which gives you like tasks to do, like kicking a ball into the net full of boxes and trying to score the highest score that you can. The Cooper Del Sur, which is more or less the same, but with higher level like activities that you can do, like trying to get past actual players and the like. And then you've got the Champions Cup, which is basically, again, more of a practice, what you've learned, and more of sort of like tackling and things like that. And then you've got the tournament section, which is literally what it says. You start with a load of teams and they whittle down as you actually play and get eliminated or eliminate other teams. And then the season, which you literally play for an entire season and you're going up and down depending on whether you win or lose. And the winner obviously being the person in the top spot number one at the end of the whole season. The controls aren't really mind boggling and I didn't really find them that difficult. The AI on the other hand seemed a little bit stupid to me sometimes they would just get the ball and then just stand there i'm not quite sure whether they do that in real life but i'm thinking they don't now this only happened sometimes not all the time and only in certain matches but i'm guessing maybe that's their ai thinking i'm not as good as your team if i knew what all the teams are actually decent at then i think man united is good i think so overall my actual gameplay side of this wasn't actually that bad it to me was playable now you got to remember that this isn't ea is it i mean they're not going to have everything right here and to that end the graphics kind of like look all right they're not really offensive or anything there is you know you can tell their players running around the pitch the crowds are very static and not really crowdish but i'm guessing that's okay for under a tenner sound wise it's pretty basic there is a constant chant when you're on the pitch it kind of like makes the noise of kicking a ball i kind of struggle to see what else you actually want out of a football game maybe a commentary here and there or just a constant co commentary I'm not quite sure. There is a bit of music whilst you're actually going through the menus. It's not that bad. It's kind of a funky little, you know, something or other. It's quite nice in a blandy, nice-ish kind of funky way. The Good. Well, it's a really budget football game. Kind of what do you expect? It has plenty of challenges that you can do and it has all the little things like your tournaments and your seasons. The bad. Okay, so the sound of the crowd all the time gets really annoying after a while. 
the graphics aren't triple A and it kind of gives a unpolished, it's not a triple A game type feeling about it. The score. Okay, this is my score and my score alone because if you're a football fanatic, you might swing. Well, I'm not quite sure whether you'd think it was crap or whether you'd like it, whether you'd say under a tenner for this, it's, it's pretty darn good. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. And this 3 out of 5 is literally a average game. If you count like EA football games as probably the pinnacle, even though I hear they're repetitive each year, I'm not quite sure what you can do with a football game. And I've seen, but I can't remember the name of some of the other football games that are really, really crap and don't really have many features in them. Probably that would be a two. So this is a three, right bang in the middle. And yeah, it wasn't an unpleasant experience. I didn't really hate the game. I didn't really, really enjoy it, but I didn't really hate it. So yeah, I'd probably go back to this personally. But as for the longevity for me, not quite sure. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know how you feel about it yourselves or indeed if you picked it up. Join us on Discord. We are full into flow. Loads of activities going on there. Feel free to come down, join in, link below because life is better when we switch together.